Good morning, my name is Terrell Harris, one half of the leadership team of The Open Box, where our vision is to make homeless more accessible. And what I wanted to do is a quick message on positive and negative energy. So yesterday, um, I ran the Annapolis Half Marathon, and one of the things I realized during this race is, or just during running in general, that there are many lessons that, that I, I've been learning. But during this particular race around mile eight, um, I encountered this lady who started to wheeze and 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 cough and and like she was sucking in air. So at this point, you know, I'm, I'm kind of cruising because I was taking in light uh, for the, this particular race. So she's breathing like, <gasps> and then I noticed like people around us started wheezing and, <gasps> and then for me, I'm like, oh gosh, like I started to get sucked into this energy. So um, I noticed like. It was it was a weird feeling how the energy that I was surrounded with um, at that time, which was like a tired or, or drained energy, kind of sucked me in. So then I I started myself to wheeze and, and kind of slow down, and then it clicked on me like I gotta get past this group of people because they're sucking me into um, how they feel. So what I thought about as I wanted to uh, create and shoot another video is how often we get sucked into negative energy for for some so for some people it may be spirits, uh, for other people it may be energy. And, you know, when we have life experiences, just remember, you know, sometimes when we may walk into a room and you kind of feel a certain way because the energy in the room may be off. Or uh, maybe you've seen it on, on the flip side, on the positive side, to where you walk in a room and then, you know, you may be feeling down and then all of a sudden your spirits are lifted because the energy or the quote-unquote spirits in the room are positive. So one of the things that we have to be aware of as it relates to negative energy and positive energy is, at least for me, usually I notice that when I'm, I don't, I'm not well rested, when I don't have a lot of fluids, when I don't um, eat right, I'm easily influenced by the energy that, that's around me, especially the negative energy. Um, so for us who are in situations to where we may be helping others or dealing with a lot of people who may be negative, you have to maintain your health, your, your physical health, um, and you also have to maintain your spiritual health. So before you enter any situations that may be negative or have negative spirits or you're dealing with people who may be down, I think um, you, you also have to check in with the Creator, check in with God, whether it's through prayer, whether it's through meditation, whether it's through um, listening to something positive, whether it's some sort of music or some sort of inspirational speeches. I think for us, when we when we enter a situation when there's negative energy or negative spirits around, what we have to do is fill ourselves back up before we encounter that. Otherwise, we could fall victim to the things that we're the negative things that we're dealing with in that space. So I hope this video helps you. What I want you to do, uh, let's start a conversation below. Tell me about a time that you've experienced super negative energy to where it, it killed your vibe, to where where you were actually impacted by uh, the negative energy. Or tell me a time where you were able to take your positive energy and change the dynamics of the situation where you were in, whether it was a room or a small group. Peace and blessings. You can follow us at theopenbox.com. Visit the website at visit the website theopenbox.com, and you can also follow me on Twitter at Mr. Terrell Harris. Peace and blessings. I'm gone.